Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are reviewing the Alpha Unlimited Micro Control. I think they only sell this inside the Philippines where I reside, so this video is going to be mostly for my fellow Adobo Gangs. They are saying that these are premium pads without the premium price. So let's see if that is true. This comes in a rope tied plastic bag for the packaging. We just need to untie it and pull out the pad. So they only have one size, which is the XL. It's 450 by 400 millimeters, and it's four millimeters thick. Here's a comparison with the large Hian. This has a rough hybrid surface and has a quick light. It takes about 5 days to break in and to get used to it. Here's a close up of the surface. Okay, nice up the glide. So the Y axis is faster than the X axis, making it better at tracking vertically and with fast paced games like Apex. I would say that this is definitely faster than the Heian. So it seems like it has a foam inside and the foam feels harder than the soft Heian. I don't usually press the pad for stopping my movement but here is a softness test. The base is an anti-slip natural rubber. It doesn't stick into your desk but you don't need to worry about it moving around when gaming as the rubber help to keep it in place. I would say that this one has a decent stitching but not as good as Artisan obviously. The start and end stitches are visible here but I don't mind the one at all. Pretty standard stitching since this pad is priced at 499 pesos or about $10. I left a few stains on the pad to see if it will easily be wiped off. I use a baby wipes for one stain and a microfiber towel with alcohol on the other one. Seems like both methods are effective, but if you made a major mess like oil or sauce, I think you need to wash that off and maybe use a mild bleach on the spots. So I washed the pad yesterday but I didn't record it. As a first wash, I would say that it retained the glide. So I'm still not sure if it will perform the same after a few more wash, maybe after a year. You know. um, I need to test it more and I'll just make an update video for that one. This pad was tested in a room with around 24 to 26 degrees Celsius. I use a fingertip grip and my wrist resting on the pad, so sweating affects my consistency when it comes to aiming as I get uncomfortable with gripping my mouse, even with the racer mouse grip tapes. When the pad gets damp with my sweat, I can notice that it's getting damp because the pad is getting darker 
but it didn't feel too slow for me. I haven't noticed any hair sticking to the pad as I keep my room clean and clean my desk frequently too. I don't notice any dust in the pad. It's only been a month of using this pad so I can't comment anything if it wears out. But yeah, like I said, I'll give a video update for that. If you're on a budget, like most Filipinos do, I would definitely give this one a shot. But I personally don't know how long it will last though, or at least be consistent. And white mouse pads are very rare to see. So if you're looking to match your setup with a white mouse pad, and you know you have a spare to make your setup more aesthetically pleasing yeah in terms of lifespan i'm gonna have to pause that i'll make a video when i notice it wearing down but check out the mousepad master link in the description below for more information with mainstream pads I'm not as consistent on this pad as I am in the Hien and it is noticeable in my scores in aim labs. Here's a six shot. It trains my fingertip control and with the surface faster than the Hien, I tend to lose control of my aim. And it shows more on green shot where I need to make quick adjustments with micro and long flicks. When it comes to the range in Valorant, I tend to overshoot and I still have a hard time with micro adjustments. And yeah, tracking feels inconsistent too. You can notice I'm just doing proper cross replacement to get easy kills when they peek out. But Apex, Apex feels smooth with this pad. I don't really have a problem with it. I usually make my 180s by gliding across the pad, but if you notice, my cat is laying down on the half of the pad so I had to play with the space that I have and even with a small area I still felt comfortable playing Apex with this pad. The tracking felt really smooth for me with Apex rather than Valorant. This is just going to be my dedicated Apex pad for now and the Heian will be for Valorant.
so is it a premium pad minus the premium price it definitely does feel premium with alpha having a five variety of surface to choose from a nice rubber base a good stitching work and i think that the quality of this pad is much better than my steel series qck plus which is priced at 900 pesos or about 19 dollars so yeah i would say that it's a good budget pad for some gamers in a budget so like i said uh i'm not sure about the durability yet but yeah uh, i'm gonna be updating you guys about that so that is for my review i hope you guys find this one helpful and i'll see you guys in the next video peace